daily, I'm asked, should I buy now? Should I sell now? And you know, frankly, maybe you've been wondering the same thing. The mainstream financial pundits claim markets are random, but don't buy it. Under the noise are cycles that are driven by monetary policy, human emotion, and we can see those patterns. Today, I'm going to help you understand the different phases of the markets, of these trend cycles that are driving these markets. Understanding them and recognizing the patterns, you can see through the manipulation. And you'll know when markets are bubbly and if you have any wealth in there, get it out. You're gonna be able to see when crashes loom and how to preserve your wealth. And you know, while I won't say exactly what to do, I'll show you the undeniable cycle patterns playing out right now with stocks, real estate, bond, gold, and silver. From there, you know, you can make an educated choice and decide what makes the most sense for your goals, your strategy, and your future. Coming up. I'm Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading, a full service, physical gold and silver dealer. You're going to take possession unless, of course, you do it inside of an IRA. Other than that, this is physical metal in your possession, which in my personal opinion, and I feel so strongly about this, is the only way that you should be doing it right now because we are transitioning into a new system. And any wealth that you hold inside of that system is vulnerable because it's not really yours anyway, regardless of your perception. So let's just dive in and I'm going to start with just an overall pattern that you can look at. And also, you know, the other thing is, is by recognizing this, you're going to understand where we are. Now, before I start putting too much on there, I want you to just sit back, look at this pattern. I'm going to remind you of it all the way through so that you can see where we are. Because in the beginning, in this accumulation phase, which by the way, is what we're going to be, that this is the, the, the phase where we're going to see the smart money come in and accumulate. And that's when we are going to start if you're executing my strategy. So if you're working with ITM, by the way, you are executing this strategy. Okay. So we're going to know when it's time to convert your growth gold into those opportunities. But what are you going to hear out there? You're going to hear, oh, gold never does anything. Oh, it's the worst thing you could possibly do. Blah, blah, blah. During the accumulation phase, the sentiment is black bearish, which means extremely negative. So that when you look at, when you take into account what you're hearing, oh, it's awful. Don't, why would you ever want to buy gold and silver? It doesn't do anything, blah, blah, blah. That is really a key. On the other side of it, we'll look at that pattern, which I'm going to show you again in a minute, the cup formation. Oops, let me grab that laser pointer. This cup formation, which will tell you smart money is accumulating. It's more visible here than it is there, but it will. So let's go on to the next phase, which is the awareness phase. Uh, after the smart money really starts to accumulate, and we're certainly seeing central banks accumulating gold at the highest level ever. Okay. You, th you think they, they know about money and what they're doing to destroy this fiat money, this mess? Yes, they are. And yes, they do. And that's why they're accumulating gold. But what you're going to get is sentiment ups and downs, right? Which way is it going? What do I do? You know, more confusion. You're going to see more volatility in these markets. But this is the awareness phase. This is where Wall Street really starts to play. And they use that volatility for trading 
to their advantage. They don't really care about the long-term trend. They're, these are short-term traders. And considering the fact that all assets have been turned into trading vehicles, it's very important that you recognize this. You'll get a bear trap sell-off, right? Oh, who wants gold? And you'll see, this is really where we are right now in the metals. But beyond that, things start moving up. And so that's the panic phase. That's your the FOMO, fear of missing out. I've got to get into it. This is the best thing. Look at the stock markets. Look at the bond markets. Look at the, look at all of these. That's where my smart money should go. It's not, but it's when the public starts to come in and frankly get suckered in. Because I didn't, didn't really, and, and by the way, if you want this graph, just call your ITM representative. They can send it to you. You can go on to the blog. You can print it out. But I would really, really, really recommend you doing a study, familiarizing yourself with this pattern. And so in that, in that panic phase, what do you start hearing, especially up near the top, is this time is different. Well, is it really different? No, it is not. It is never different. It is just a repetition of history and a repetition of these patterns. That's why you hear me talk about patterns all the time, because anybody can blah, 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 say anything. If you're working with a stockbroker, they have no flipping clue because they're not trained to understand. I know, I went to Shearson because at the time, this was in the 80s, they had the best training program on the street. They put a lot of money into me. Did they teach me how to read the technical language of the market? They didn't want me to know that, just like they don't want you to know that. But I want you to know that. So here we go. This is where you have your best opportunity to take profits, somewhere up here. Right now, you'll see in the markets, we're at a return to normal. Everything is fine. What are you worried about? So let's just take a look at that. We'll start with the industrial average, right? Can you see that pattern? I'll show it to you again. Bear with me here. Here's the S&P. How similar does this look to what you just saw on the industrial average? And here's the, Na here's the NASDAQ. I mean, come on, overlay them, which I just did, and don't they look really similar? So where are we? Well, here are the phases that you just saw. Does it not look like that? Does it not look like that? Sentiment confused. There's a run to money markets because they think this time is different. They think that if you hold this cash, oh, I don't even know, oops. Oops, sorry about that. There's a run to cash, there's a run to money markets, but what do we know? We know inflation is heating up, don't we? So it is a trap to keep your wealth in these severely overvalued markets. And is this time different? No, this time is not different. So if that's where you're holding your wealth, then you're going to take your best opportunity to take any profits. And I don't care where the market happens to be today is to take your profits now, because doesn't this, all these things that I just showed you, doesn't that look like this? It's not rocket science. It's just pattern recognition. And how about commercial real estate? Well, let's take a look at that. Oh, huh, huh. Doesn't that pattern look familiar? The accumulation phase, the awareness phase, and the overvaluation profit opportunity. So if you have wealth in any level of commercial property, even though it's down a bit from where it was, if you hold on to it longer, it's going to get worse. So this is your profit opportunity. It's up to you whether or not you take it. Things are getting better. Are they really? Because what we see are store closures. I mean, I was just in Washington, DC, 
And what was really stunning to me as I was walking around there was there's lots of restaurants, but there's like no shops, no shops. So what we're seeing are store closures, vacant offices and slowing economy, increasing vacancies, increasing defaults, because so much of this property was done with debt and the debt bubble has been popped. You shouldn't be confused. You should realize we are at the best time to take my profits and get the Hades out. Up to you, but let's take a look at this pattern versus just the typical pattern of any trend cycle. You tell me, does this look familiar? It's not rocket science, it's just pattern recognition. How about, how about homes, right? We saw a little dippy poo here and we know that in some markets, real estate prices are coming down. But in many other markets, they're continuing to go up and they're already in flipping nose bleed levels thanks to cheap, free, almost free money. But it creates problems. It looks great for a while until it doesn't. So again, if this is where you're holding your wealth, then you are in an overvalued circumstance and this is where you will capture your, your best profits. Now I am not telling you, and actually I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just pointing these things out so, so you can make educated choices, but I'm not telling you to sell your home. I'm not going to sell my home. You got to have shelter. You got to have a roof over your head. I'm not even telling you not to buy a new home, but I wouldn't be speculating. We've been taught that real estate is a great short-term investment because Wall Street has turned it into that. But these things, your homes were never meant to be short-term. They've just been training you so that at the end of the day, who's going to be left holding the bag in all of these fiat money products? You will, if that's where your wealth is held. So what I'm trying to show you is where we are in the trend cycle with all of these, you know, with all these different asset classes so that you can avoid listening and paying attention to the blah, blah, blah noise. This time is different because it's never different. Look at it. Look at it. Right? I don't make this stuff up. This is simply a repetition of history. Of course, the choice is yours, but I think that you are beginning to see how similar all these patterns are because it's really just the one pattern. So if you get it with the one, that's why I strongly encourage you to just, you know, just, just call your consultant, call ITM, talk to a consultant if you haven't done that already, and they'll send you out this clean, this clean one. Let me see if I can get there this clean one without anything else on there so that you just hold it and then take a longer term view because in the short term, they can make anything look the way they want to because it's so easy to manipulate, you know, a, a paper market. So easy to manipulate, create a lot of things that do not nor ever will exist. It's about trading, but should your wealth be vulnerable to all of this trading? If you can learn to recognize these patterns, guess what? You get to make educated choices regardless of what anybody blah, blah, blah says. I don't care what they say. I look to these patterns and I'm trying to give you that tool too. So we've looked at a bunch of these fiat money assets and we're going to look at another one, which is spot silver and spot gold. Because as we know, they can create as much silver and as much gold that does not nor ever will exist as they want. But the public looks at these spot markets and go, oh, well, that's where silver is and that's where gold is. And it's a big fat lie. So let me debunk the lie and show you in terms of the paper markets. 
because I show you the, comp the comparison between the paper and the physical all the time. I just want to stay on the paper markets for, for this lesson. Okay. But what we're looking at here is spot silver. And I know a lot of people that have been accumulating silver and the same thing with gold. Oh, silver is not doing anything. Okay. Well, it is in the premiums here, but what you have here is a wedge formation. So if you have a ruler, you can print out the charts, stockcharts.com. You can go and do this for free. And you just see what you see here are a series of lower and lower highs and higher and higher lows. And this is forming like the wedge of a cheese. At some point, it is either going to break out above the wedge or break down below the wedge. If it breaks down, if it breaks out above the wedge, then the most likely next outcome is something like this, where you get a significantly higher pop. If it breaks down below the wedge, then you are most likely to see the spot price decline. They can make that happen just by creating more paper silver. So don't be discouraged by that. Use this as an opportunity. When should you accumulate? Where are we in there? Because right now, where we are is in the bear trap awareness phase, nearing a wage, break out above or break down below. Can you see that right here? Right? That's where we are right here in a bear trap. Don't be fooled because the next thing that is going to happen is once we break out above, you're going to see the spot price go a lot higher. But in the meantime, this is also like a mini cup, isn't it? It's like a mini cup. And so the smart money is accumulating the physical silver as fast as as much as they can. And I'm in that group. What group are you in? Are you going to believe the lies or are you going to see where we are in this paper trend cycle, knowing that in this, there's an unlimited amount in spot silver. That's not a big deal, but there's a limited amount of this physical. That's why you need to hold it because if you don't hold it, you don't own it. You can't hold your stocks. You can't hold your bonds or your annuities or your REITs or any of that. You can't hold it. They hold it. They own it. You're just the beneficial owner. But with gold and silver, that's different. You can actually hold it and own it. What a concept. That way it runs no counterparty risk and this is significant. Now, what I also find interesting is it's, it's that sentiment piece. Black bearish. Oh, it's the worst thing I've ever done. I'm never do, going to do it again. I just checked prices. They've gone down. That is black bearish sentiment. That's when you need to be accumulating because you have the opportunity in the physical metals market to, and, and this goes back to my daddy, you know, and I, I have to use this example because it was part of my training ground and it always kind of makes him sound less than, but frankly, in my opinion, he was the greatest man that ever lived on the earth. And what did he always say to me? It was like our little normal banter. You know how you, you, you create that with people that you love, right? And he'd say, do what I say and not what I do. Now he was primarily talking about driving because he was a crappy driver, but I'd say to him, daddy, that just doesn't make sense to me. And then when I became a mother, guess what? I heard myself telling my daughters all of these wonderful things. And, and one day they're about a year and a half old. And I kind of somehow had this like out of body experience or something. And, and I was able to see my blah, blah, blah talk. You can be anything. You're wonderful. You're this, you're that, you're the other thing. And what I realized in that moment was that I was not living up to my words. So I was telling them, but I was not doing it. I'm sorry that I digressed a little bit. I don't really know why, but okay, you know a little more about me. However, when you're looking at these patterns, 
you listen to what they say, and I'm talking, I'm, I'm really referring to the central banks right now because they don't want you to hold physical gold because that protects you. So they're telling you not to, everything is fine. They have everything under control. And look at this, Paul Krugman. I'd love to sit down and have a conversation with that man. And I'd love to do it on camera. Let me tell you, so Paul, if for some reason any of you know him, let him know, let's have a face-to-face -face conversation. He's wanting to tell you that inflation, they have slain the inflation beast. I'm sitting here telling you we have begun our ascent into hyperinflation. That's what all the data is telling me. So central bank's job, Paul Krugman's job is to keep you in the market, blah, 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 blah. But behind the scenes that they're not telling you, and I don't know what Paul's doing. I'm not privy to that. But the central banks, they're accumulating gold. Who knows more about money? But as the public becomes more aware, because what I'm seeing is that a lot of people have gotten very, very uneasy about what's going on. They don't know what to do about it because they don't know how to recognize the patterns. But you do because we've just went gone through this. And this was just recent from uh, mining.com. I believe this is a Gallup poll. Which of the following, here's the question. Which of the following do you think is the best long-term investment? Bonds, real estate, savings accounts, or CDs? Stocks or mutual funds or gold? Okay. Well, goodness gracious, gold has risen quite substantially. Real estate used to be considered the best investment, and that has declined pretty consistently. And when you see Costco selling gold bars and selling out within a few hours, what that's telling you is that the public is starting to participate. The sentiment is changing. You can see the sentiment decline from 2011 to 2022 and look at how much it's increasing. So if you haven't finished building your strategy or you haven't started to buy gold because after all the price and blah, 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 let me show you where we are. This is a spot gold chart. So this is the contract. We know the physical markets ha have been growing, but this is the spot. This is the one that most people look at and say, ah, gold isn't doing anything, blah, blah, blah. And this does guide the price of uh, bullion and just basic but where are we? Because this is one of the pieces that we needed a breakout and we got it. And that was back in 2009, 2010. And spot gold is, is still in the awareness phase, but look at this triple top. Okay. So here's that, there's that. And you can see that it moved up, formed that cup formation broke out of that cup. And so it's taking a tremendous amount of paper contracts to suppress the price that you see of gold. That is not happening in the physical realm as much, although in the lower quality and the bullion and all that, sure, that's going to be impacted by this. That's your opportunity. Because quite honestly, personally, knowing, having lived my life in this area in one way or another, I would always rather hold the lion's share of my wealth in an undervalued asset that is in a long-term positive trend and the least amount of my wealth in an overvalued asset or instrument that is in a long-term negative trend. Even everything, all of these charts that I've shown you, I, I didn't do the purchasing power chart because I do that all the time. That's your inflation. That's the real trend for you to pay attention to in all of this. But look at how they have suppressed it. Triple tops are rare, right? But a rising gold price is an indication of a failing currency. And once you really understand 
that that currency is failing. And that's what that inflation is about. You make different choices. You get your wealth out of the system that is losing value constantly, compounding it regardless of how they make the paper contracts look. That's easy peasy. This is a trading market. But don't be fooled because once we break out of this trading range, then you are most likely to see gold go on spot on the spot market to the moon on a Lorna Dune. And when that happens, when do you want to buy it? Do you want to buy it in here or do you want to buy it up here? Because when it's up here, quite honestly, that's when we're going to be taking the profits because these things are going to flip flop. And right now, what you're going to see is spot with gold. Gold is, I want, can, I, can I have a full screen? Okay. And I'm going to just move this out of the way. All right. Gold is down here being suppressed while all those other asset classes are way up here, severely overvalued because the powers that be, the central bankers, the governments know that's what, that's what the masses look, look at. And they've got to, their job is to keep you in there so that it is easy to transfer your wealth. You hold your wealth in this, it's much harder because it's invisible to them. But this is all gonna flip flop. And when we go back to the top, and now can I have those slide back again? Thank you. When we are somewhere up here, which is when they start to do those overnight revaluations, we're going to take the profits from here and convert them into income producing assets. When we see that accumulation pattern, here's a cup accumulation pattern. We're going to see that and we're going to know we're going to have black bearish sentiment. Ah, gold never does anything. La, 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 la. And we're going to convert. And in this case, it's, it, maybe it's going to be some commercial real estate. Maybe it's going to be some dividend paying stocks. We're going to see who's left after this debt explosion washes out the garbage. And we're going to hold our purchasing power wealth to convert into those other income producing assets that you cannot outlive. And I stress that because when I first became a stockbroker in the eighties, nobody ever talked about you having the, uh, that you were going to outlive your retirement assets, but they'll tell you now, well, after you're 82, you'll have no more money. What are you supposed to do then? After you're 92, you'll be out of your wealth. Let's have some wealth that you can not outlive. And what is that? That's called dynastic wealth. And it has three legs, real estate, rare collectibles and gold. And gold is the basis that enables you to accumulate the other two when they are dirt cheap because you flip and held your purchasing power. I mean, this is not rocket science. It is just pattern recognition and understanding and look at, you know, looking at the long-term trend. They've trained us to think short-term, short-term, short-term. They've trained us to think this time is different. The yield curve, is it reliable anymore? Cause this time is different. It's not different. It's just setting you up to take the fall while the smart money is pouring into physical metals. Aren't you the smart money? Because you can be. The inverted yield curve has called every recession since 19, actually earlier than that. That's just how far back this chart went. But especially since it's become pure debt based. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. This is the kind of thing that you hear at the top of every market. This time is different. It's not. It's more dangerous because this time since 1971, this time we are in a full transition 
from paper money into the digital money, if we allow it. We can stop this. We Together, we can stop this. You vote, you vote with your wallets. If you stay in the fiat market, that's your vote. If you keep your wealth in this stuff, that's your vote. If you position and you just convert your fiat money into real money, that's your vote. Honestly, that's my vote. So the question that you really need to think about and answer, this time is different, is it? Really, is it? Because what we know is central banks are accumulating more gold than they ever have in recorded history. Why are they doing that? That line shows you zero. Look at 2000. What was happening in 2000, moving into 2000 from 99? Y2K, do you remember that? They didn't know if the computer systems were going to be able to handle that transi transition. And they did not want you buying gold, physical gold, and holding it in your possession. So what did they do? They sold it. They leased it. They did everything that they could do to suppress the price. But look at 2005, if you would. Okay? That's when they were really doing that significantly. And what was happening back then? We were in transition, but they stopped selling off and leasing it out as heavily, and it was going up from there. And by 2010, they were net buyers. So we caught, crossed that zero Rubicon. And now smart money is voraciously accumulating because they know what they are doing to this stuff. And it's the same thing when they transitioned this out of this. This is a gold certificate. They would rather you hold this. How convenient is this? How inconvenient is this? It's heavy. You got to hold it in your pocket. Oh, why would you want to do that? I'm going to tell you, freedom is not free. And convenient is not free. And the price that we will all pay for that convenience, if we don't stop what's happening and retain our choices and retain our freedoms, it's not pretty. It's not pretty at all. So the other thing I want you to ask yourself is what does this pattern tell you? I know what it tells me. I know what all those patterns tell me. And I would rather be, I don't care how early. Because if you're one second too late, you have no more choice. You lose your freedom and your liberty. Why would you make that choice? So if you have not done this yet, please subscribe to this channel. Start your gold and silver strategy. Click that Calendly link below. Have a conversation with one of our specialists that is based on your goals. You're going to be executing the same strategy or a similar strategy to me. It'll just be tweaked based on your goals, your circumstance, and what you have to work with. But if you haven't done this yet, make sure you watch the video on surveillance capitalism because that's where we're headed. And that debt bubble has popped and lost all anchors. The foundation of our system has lost all anchors. How does that make you feel? What are you going to do about it? Food, water, energy, security, barterability, wealth preservation, community, and shelter. If you can get into position with that, then let them try to do it. 
You can say no. You can make a stand, but you can't do it alone and neither can I. I've been so fortunate because I knew in 2008 that the system died. So I jumped on building all of those pieces that we need, the food, water, energy, et cetera. But I have a community around me that's helping me execute this strategy. Maybe you do and maybe you don't, but there is a community near you. In thriverscommunity.com, this is where we're building the community both local and global, because this is a global issue and we have to come together in community to stop it. And, you know, you might have heard me say this before because I realized I need to be, I mean, really, gold and silver will buy you freedom and liberty and choices, but community is where we can really find our safety. This is your wealth safety, but coming together in community. And, and I realized that, and you, you probably heard me say that my job on this planet is to make a positive difference for a lot of people. And what I realized just the other day or last week, depending on when they're running this, is that that's everybody's job. And it starts with one. Can I do this all by myself? Heck no, I can't do this all by myself. I don't do this all by myself. And to build this global community, I need your help. Just like you need my help to recognize these patterns. What can you do to make a positive difference for a lot of people? You can start sharing the gifts that you've been given. I've studied this stuff my entire life, so I'm sharing my gifts with you. And I'm learning how to do this. And on BGS, Beyond Gold and Silver, I'm sharing that. We're all sharing it. My whole community is sharing how we're building this. It can be anything, anything that can make a positive difference. Because in this way, we can grow that community one step and one person at a time. Because if you do that and you make a positive difference for one other person, and that one other person goes out and does that for another person and another person and another, there are more of us than there are of them. We get to retain our choices and our liberties, not just for us, but for our children, our grandchildren are great for the future because they want you to be a slave. I want you to be free. I told you, I just got back from Washington, D.C., and I went and I saw the original founding documents. And they moved me a lot. Go back to the Constitution. Have constitutional money. There's a reason why our founding father said only gold and silver is money because this stuff gets abused until you are left with nothing. I know this one went long and I'm sorry about it, except I'm not sorry about it because you need to learn how to recognize this stuff so you can make independent, educated choices. That puts your best interest first. So if you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe. Please, please, please leave a comment. Give us a thumbs up. It helps us spread the word. Share, share, share. I know this is a long video. I've got a five minute video coming out soon, soon. I promise you I'm working on it, but I want it to be so powerful, so impactful. I'll let you know when it's done because you're going to see it first. And that's one of the videos that you can share. Five minutes, I promise. Five minutes. So until next we meet, we are all in this together. Don't forget that. We can do this. We can retain our choices and our freedoms. And until next we meet, please be safe out there. Bye-bye.